Now in 2007 when he left a job at Amazon India and started an e-commerce company out of a small flat in East Bangalore, Sachin Bansal had capital of just 4 lakh rupees. Bini Bansal and him, college friends and co-founders, did everything themselves. They stood outside malls to hand out pamphlets and in just six years, their company Flipkart has established itself as India's leading e-commerce brand with a valuation of one and a half billion dollars. Investors are falling over each other to put money in Bansal's hands. Today, sales are crossing 2,000 crore rupees and they operate in a sector that is expected to explode from $600 million today to about $76 billion in 2021. Flipkart is poised to ride in the crest of that new wave of online shoppers from Bandra to Bundelkhand, ordering every fathomable thing online. Jeff Bezos once said that Amazon doesn't make money by selling things. It makes money by helping people decide. Flipkart doesn't make money just yet, but it's unlikely that the Bunsels are too worried. Perhaps Sachin can tell us today if Flipkart, like Amazon, has plans to introduce delivery by drones. Ladies and gentlemen, Sachin Bansal is Entrepreneur of the Year. So building India's most recognizable e-commerce brand from scratch in just six years, adapting the business model to suit market needs, and earning a reputation for top-class customer service. I invite Mr. Bansal to accept the award from the Honorable Finance Minister. Bansal to say a few words, please. I, uh, thanks for the award. Uh, um, I think uh, it, the award probably should be named as uh, Kid of the Year Award. Uh, I think uh, uh, after this especially, uh, this is, um, um, there are more people here who have uh, more experience in business than I have had uh, years on this earth. Um, so I think uh, it's a it's a great honor uh, to be given this award. So I would like to talk about a little bit about uh, the the problems that entrepreneurs face, and we have talked a little bit about the problems that they face from business point of view. But they face bigger challenges at home uh, when they start up, right? Um, and uh, and I would like to share a few words about that. Uh, when I started, uh, when I took my idea to my parents and told them about what I was going to do, uh, there were, uh, they were apprehensive. Uh, they, they, they didn't understand what I was doing, why I was doing that. Uh, but they eventually did uh, support me, mainly because of the fact that I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't let go. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't listen. Uh, and uh, even after we started, right, and when uh, Bini and I, we started uh, meeting vendors and partners uh, to do business with them, uh, most of them used to deeply be deeply concerned about us that you have uh, left uh, careers good careers and jobs and started this uh, online business and they used to sit us down and give us advice mostly around why don't you go back to a job so i think uh, they're definitely uh, the and i see that as the biggest challenge that entrepreneurs face today um, uh, from um, from starting up there are great entrepreneurs especially in the technology space who have good ideas coming from the middle class backgrounds, but, uh, but, they, but they face uh, uh, challenges at home. But I hope uh, examples like Book My Show and Flipkart and Inmobi and Musigma and many others uh, do serve as an example uh, to, to, uh, to parents and to friends and to entrepreneurs themselves uh, to, to start up and, and chase their dreams and, and make their dreams come true. I think I hope, uh, I hope that's a little bit of impact that we all have uh, on the on the society in india thank you all very much